Hey everyone, this is Howard. I want to share an idea with you, something that's really been coming up for me a lot lately. Um, it's something I've known for a while, but for some reason the people I've been speaking with, maybe this is the gift that's been trying to reveal itself to me and I'm coming to you to share it. Um, I have a gift I'm going to be offering you at the end of this video and I'm going to keep this as short as possible and straight to the point. Uh, I know a lot of us experience these internal conflicts inside. And what do I mean by internal conflicts? What are these internal conflicts? I don't even understand your language. Um, it's these internal conflicts. Think about it. We have conflicts internally. Typically, these are a decision. These are decisions that we want to make on whether to do something or not to do something. Uh, for example, we might have the idea when we come home from work. It's a long day of work, and we think, okay, I know I'm supposed to be going to the gym, but man, I'm really, really tired. Maybe you're doing this in the morning. Maybe you got to get up earlier to get up and go to the gym and you wake up, you know, an hour, probably two hours before you got to get up, go to work, maybe four, three thirty in the morning. And um, you think, man, I'd love to get up and go to the gym, but oh, this is, I'm so tired and I'm going to have a long day and all these things really start coming up, right? So you're conflicted as to whether you should go to the gym or sleep in and then just go to work. But what happens when you don't go to the gym? You end up at work and day after day you keep going, getting up and doing the same thing and thinking, man, I really want to be fit, but I just can't get myself to get up that early or after long days of work, I just can't rationalize how I'm really going to go out and give that extra effort to work out and make my body look healthy, but I really want to be healthy, right? Can you relate? Maybe not necessarily with your health, but how about with finances? Are there certain decisions that you've been wanting to make? Maybe leaving your job and going to another one. Maybe it's starting a new business. Maybe it's actually even picking up the phone and making certain phone calls, but there's a couple of pains that come up where it might seem painful for you to, uh, or stressful anyway, to call these people after all, what are you going to say? Have you rehearsed it, right? Do you know what you're even going to say? And if you do know what to say, are you going to be rejected? But if you don't call either, you know, you're not going to get to that level of business that you want to get to in your business. Again, can you relate? We do this with our relationships as well. Um, do I propose or do I not propose? Do I learn how to communicate and more actively or effectively or do I listen more actively, right? Or do I just shut down and walk away when I don't know how to handle something? Okay, well, there's these two driving forces. They're the forces of pain and pleasure. We do more to move away from pain in life than we do to gain pleasure. Think about it. Think about the going to the gym situation. Is it more painful to sit on the couch when you get home from work and watch TV? I'm guessing probably not. Probably seems a little bit more relaxing in the moment, right? And this is where we want short-term immediate gratification. <laughs> but you think you sit on the couch, well, it's more pleasurable now. And then you're going to bed at night thinking, man, I just spent two hours watching TV. I could have been to the gym and home by now and showered and feeling a lot better, right? Which is more painful for you? Think about it. Well, often when we meet with these internal conflicts, it's because these two pains come up side by side. Is it painful to get up in the morning or is it painful to go to the gym and actually work out really hard? You know, and when these two pains come up, you'll end up deciding between which one is less painful and more pleasurable. So for the moment, maybe sleeping in might be less painful, painful and more pleasurable depending on where you're at with your level of commitment to yourself and your own well-being. Maybe it's getting up and actually going to the gym because you think long term, geez, I can't imagine five years and still looking the way that I do. That's going to be really horrible. People are going to judge me. I'm going to feel like crap, <laughs> right? So there's these other, this other concept too. And it has to do with the quality of problems that we experience. We either experience safe problems, which are the more inside your comfort zone type of problems. Again, am I choosing to sit on the couch and watch TV? Am I choosing between vanilla and chocolate <laughs> ice cream to get? right? Am I going to clean the office or am I going to make these phone calls? It's more of a safe problem. It's nothing that's really contributing towards your growth, your personal development. Either is it growing or contributing toward other people's uh, well-being as well, right? So then what is a quality problem? A quality problem is a, is a problem, the type of problem that we experience that really helps us develop emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, mentally, um, where you have to make a decision, something that is going to contribute not only to your well-being, but it's going to contribute to other people's well-being, and it's going to contribute toward the greater good as well. 
So then what kind of examples are these? Howard, tell us. Well, an example would be um, learning to communicate more effectively. Say that you're in a relationship and your partner um, is one who only knows how to communicate through getting angry and upset, right? Maybe not necessarily yelling, but they just get frustrated and maybe throw some little minor tantrums. In turn, you don't know how to deal with it. So in the past, you used to just walk away or maybe hang up the phone if they were on the phone. So you know what? You can call me when you're more at peace. You can call me when you're calmed down, right? Well, a quality problem could be how do I learn how to communicate more effectively? How can I listen more intently and empathically to my partner when they are going through these storms? How can I be more present for them, right? And you're thinking, your brain starts thinking, hmm, how can I actually do that? You know, how can I take going to the gym to the next level? I've been doing this routine now for some time and I want to advance. I want to step it up, right? That's another kind of quality problem. Other quality problems are maybe learning how to become uh, an even better parent. Where instead of telling your kids what to do, you want to be the example and lead by example for them what to do. You want to show them yourself. This is how you become an adult. This is how you do certain things. And this is how you do it with a big smile on your face, right? So safe problems versus quality problems and then pain and then pleasure. So to skip now, not skip, but just to get to the point, give us the gift, Howard. What is the gift? Well, for this next week from July 23rd to July 27th, I'm going to be offering you an up to 45 minute parts integration session with me. You still get your free 30 minute consultation. So what I want you to do now is I want you to send me an email or give me a call and let's set up your appointment, your free consultation so we can learn about what types of problems you are experiencing and what decision it is that you need to make. From there, we'll go ahead and schedule the actual parts integration session where we can go deep and help you finally integrate these conflicts, these internal conflicts, and find some peace and solace within your being, okay? So again, this is only from July 23rd to July 27th, and I'm only charging you 50 bucks. 50 bucks, that's it. So here, a more quality problem again may present itself to you, and I encourage you to make the decision to follow through with the phone call. If you're thinking about it and you're contemplating it, you're thinking, where am I going to get this 50 bucks from? First of all, it's only 50 bucks. You can find $50 anywhere. To learn to make the decision or what's been holding you back from making a certain decision, I think is well worth it. Imagine how much more pleasure you're going to get out of life. Imagine the pain that will be alleviated now that you've actually gone through this process. Imagine how much more clear you can actually be in making future decisions in life because you made the one decision to pick up the phone and give me a call or shoot me an email and schedule your appointment. Okay? So call me at 661-524-6093 or shoot me an email at info at Howard Crampton Jr. Com. You can also go to my website at howardcramptonjr.com, click on the events page and you can get some more information there too. Again, this is for internal conflicts. This is to help consolidate yourself, integrate yourself, find that being, find that stillness within you. And from every decision that you make, it's going to come from that center, from that, that, that part within you, maybe within your heart, that tells you, yes, go for it. You know the pleasure and you know the pain, but the pleasure far outweighs the pain and you're going to go with that. So I look forward to seeing you around the website. I look forward to hearing your voice on the other side of the phone. So call me now, 661-524-6093, or email me info at howardcramptonjr.com. We'll see you soon.